Hi, this is T3 with Ree Morgan, and in my hand is the Android Honeycomb running Motorola Zoom. Can it take on the iPad and the newly announced Samsung Galaxy Tab 2? Let's take a closer look at it. We spotted the Motorola Zoom in CES back in January, but they wouldn't let us touch it. A month later, and we've got our mitts all over it. First impressions are impressive. Thanks to a magnesium chassis and an aluminium casing, the Zoom feels really substantial. The front screen is composed of a single sheet of glass, but without the customary Android buttons, which gives it a far more streamlined and stylish look. Many HDMI and micro USB connectors are along the bottom, while around the back are stereo speakers and a dual LED flash. Alongside that, there's a 32 gig internal memory. There's a micro SD SIM card slot on the top, and although it's launching on 3G, it will be upgradable to 4G, which isn't currently much use if you're in the UK. The interface has been totally revamped, with the icons now much cleaner and more intuitive. On the bottom left of the screen are home, menu, and multitasking icons. A tap of the latter bringing up thumbnails of open applications, you can quickly swap between them. The 10.1 inch 16 by 10 screen has a resolution of 1280 by 800, providing full 720p video playback. During our play, videos look crisp and clear with punchy colors. Other than the primary 5 megapixel camera, there's a 2 megapixel camera for video calls via Google Talk when you're hooked up to a Wi-Fi. You also get support for Exchange email and Gmail has been optimized for tablet use. The Motorola Zoom will be available in Q2 in Europe, but there's no news on price yet.